This video is a continuous of our Active Directory migration series and we will be covering joining a Windows Server 2016 to a domain as a member server. First, let's look at our Windows Server 2012 R2 domain controller. This is our domain controller and our domain name is mylab.local. We assign an IP 192.168.49.5 to this domain controller. Let's look at Active Directory users and computers. Let's click on domain controllers. This is the our domain controller name and if you click on computers, right now we do not have any computer account under computers container. Let's move to Windows Server 2016 computer. So first of all, let's check the computer name of this server. Right click on start button, select system and here you can see our computer name is WS 2016 and this computer is currently part of work group. Now let's check the IP configuration of this computer as well. Let's open command prompt. At the command prompt, I'm going to type command IP config slash all. Now as you can see, our IP address is 192.168.49.16 and our gateway address is 192.168.49.1 and our DNS server's address is 192.168.49.5. Let's check the network connectivity with our DNS server. Here, you can see we are receiving the replay from our DNS server. Let's use NSLOOKUP. And at the NS lookup, I'm going to type the domain name mylab.local. And here we are getting the answer. The domain controller providing the answer is 192.168.49.5. And that is the our domain controller. Let's type exit. Exit again. Now you can join your Windows Server 2016 computer to domain by clicking on change settings. That will open the system properties. And at the system property console on computer name tab, Click on change. Under member of, select domain and here you have to specify the name of our domain. In my case that is mylab.local. Then click on OK. You will be prompted to enter the credential of someone who has privilege to join the domain such as domain administrator. So let's specify the credential of our domain administrator and let's click on OK. Then you will receive a message, welcome to mylab.local domain. Let's click on OK. Now you will receive another pop-up box and that will tell you, you have to restart your computer to apply these changes. Let's click on OK. Let's click on close. And then again, you will see another pop-up and that will ask you, do you want to restart now or do you want to restart this computer later? Let's click on restart now. Let's move to our Windows Server 2012 RT computer and click on Computers Container. Right click on it and select Refresh. Now here you can see we have our one computer account WS2016. Now let's move to our Windows Server 2016 computer. After restart, it will be a member server of our domain mylab.local. Now you are ready to log into our Windows Server 2016 computer with the any user account from our Active Directory mylab.local. But we want to log in as a domain administrator to this Windows Server 2016 computer. Let's use controller.delete to unlock this server. Now we are going to log in as a domain administrator. That's why we have to click on other users. Now here you have to specify the login name of our administrator. Administrator at mylab.local and then we have to specify the password. And that's it. Now we have successfully logged into our Windows Server 2016 computer as a domain administrator. Let's check that. Right click on start button, select command prompt and at the command prompt I'm going to type command pmi. As you can see it will display as mylab slash administrator because we log in as a domain administrator. So this is how you can easily join Windows Server 2016 to a domain. In the next part of this video series we will prepare our Windows Server 2012 R2 domain for Server 2016 domain controller. And that's it for this video demonstration. Thank you for watching this video.